Hey filmmaker Shun here. In this video I want to talk about the garbage matte effects inside of Premiere Pro. So here you can actually see a list of my or uh, a preset of them inside of Premiere Pro 2017. So in the previous version 2015 they have removed these and actually fully removed the effect from the list. However, it seems that there is still remnants of the codes inside of Premiere Pro uh, and you can still use the old presets that contains them. So I've actually made presets of them from an older version that is 2014 where they were still available. Going back to the garbage mats is that it's an effect that is very very useful. You might think why use garbage mat? to mask things instead of using the standard mask that you have. So if you look inside of your effects control on this color mat, we can go to opacity and we have here several tools for masking. So an ellipse mask to make a circle here. However, the annoying thing of it is that it's easily misshaped and actually I can't even get it back to normal here again but masking it has a lot of limitations so first uh, showing you here this square mask so what we can't do here is see the coordinates of these four points so we don't know where they are and don't really know uh, if the lines are actually straight or not especially right now if you want to move them out and you want to get a straight line especially with this odd thick line around it it's really hard to see like is this line perfectly straight or not so it's hard to make a design with this mess something in a shape that you want to just get like a certain nice cool shape maybe like a certain bar or something um, yeah pretty much maybe it's like a lower third something in like a special shape so it's a little bit annoying how to do it this way so another thing is of course you can use this path and actually animate it so we can change it here so we can see it animated however the bad thing about here is there's no save to preset so the problem with that is we can't repeat this effect so this mask is non repeatable you can of course probably copy it instead of uh, yeah making a preset However, if you're opening a total new project uh, for a total new video project, it's just annoying if you are not able to fully repeat a certain process. Especially making if you have like made a nice transition, making these things move and then just disappear. Uh, it kind of is annoying. Also, it's really hard to get like a thin line of nothing. So that is quite annoying so we're going to remove this mask also and we're now going to apply a garbage mask so this is the four point garbage mask you can directly see it didn't do anything but what we can see here are the coordinates of each of these points so we can actually make a nice square so if we move this over to 700 move this down to I think maybe 500 that's a bit too much I think 300 should be fine so also down 300 and we can see like just typing in the coordinates this is going to be a perfect square and one zero And I totally am just randomly typing in certain coordinates. Um, 
maybe it comes out into a square, maybe it's a rectangle. But it's pretty close to a square, but these are perfectly on a yeah, straight line or everything. And you can also do it manually, but the great thing is you can eyeball it first manually and then fix everything here to be a straight line. So that is a great thing. And one thing also here, if we want to like animate this is quite easily. So maybe go here, one, two, three, and animate the top here to become like a triangle. So the absolute middle is 960. And now we have a triangle, so we have like a square that becomes a triangle. So we can do this and we can right mouse click here and save it as a preset. So this is a repeatable process that you can repeat every time. So we can actually make a transition with this effect or make all kinds of things with this effect and literally, um, yeah, repeat it in a total new project because the effect or the preset will be in your preset bin once it's saved. But yeah, with the other mask, that is not possible. So the only thing that I really dislike about the garbage mask is the coordinates because the absolute zero somehow is here on the top left, while on certain effects, the absolute zeros are actually in the middle, which makes it easier because I could go like if I want both sides to be at the same distance from the middle, I can easily do a minus 200 here and then a plus 200 on the right side and be know that that is like the same distance from the middle. Right now, to get the coordinates, I need to know the resolution of the project. So this is 1920, the width and the height is uh, 1080 so that is something you need to remember and then you need to like calculate from from this side I moved 700 so from this side is 1920 minus 700 is 1220 so you need to calculate quite a lot to know how and where you want to position something. That is something they could improve by literally changing the absolute zero to the middle of the video, which makes everything way, way easier. I'm not quite sure why they didn't do that directly, but yeah, there might be a certain reason for that, that the absolute zero must be at that side, but I rather have them change the absolute zero to be in the middle of the screen. Okay, now moving along to the next one, the eight point garbage mask. I already applied it here on this uh, color mat. And you can see it's like cookie shape right now. And yeah, pretty much uh, we can make this an interesting effect here. We can add all these keyframes and here actually return every one of them. You can have like a nice animation how this turns into that cookie shape. But also actually the main thing I really like using this effect for is enable me to make a square with uh, rounded edges. So beforehand uh, before 2017 you had like the titles so that to access that nowadays you need to go to file and then hit legacy title and here to make a square with round edges we can do it here however there are a few weird things about using this so Personally, you can change the height, but the fillet is 
like it doesn't work that nice especially if you got like a rectangle shape for a square it works nice but for like a long shape you can see here that the round edge here looks weird that's always been like the yeah the thing that I don't like about using this round corner rectangle because it just doesn't work that great I'm going to show you like this this is uh, this cookie shape so every so these are like 45 degree angle cuts or just uh, yeah it looked like a cut but it's actually just max into this shape and now I'm going to actually add rounded corners to here so using the circle effect and we're going to change the blending mode to normal change this color to the same color as the cookie and I actually know like the size of the circles what they need to be it needs to be 100 because the like there is like 100 100 difference like uh, this height and the width of this corner is 100 so now need to move it into its place or and this is 300 and this is 800 so now we have a nice round edge here pretty much can do it for the other side move this all the way here and this is 11.20 so I really prefer these uh, garbage masks over the normal uh, masking tools and also over the new rectangle or actually pen tools because it's they are just similar builds but they have the similar issues of uh, yeah not able to get like what you really want to have uh, or get the coordinates correct to build something much better so I hope you guys kind of understand my point of why these garbage masks are important to use and why actually yeah Premiere Pro should actually return them inside of uh, yeah Premiere Pro 2017 or uh, upcoming updates for the guys who are using Premiere Pro CC 2015 and 2017 I've made a preset that you can download there'll be a link in the description below so you can actually get garbage mask back into your program and uh, yeah enable you to use them again for your upcoming projects and uh, hopefully you guys learned enough from this video how to use the garbage mask and how to actually use them in a way to make new shapes or make your own uh, yeah transition with them so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more upcoming videos please subscribe also check out my other videos on these channels there's more tutorials and even more other stuff and if you have any questions please comment below or join us on our facebook group there's a link in the description and i hope to see you the next time bye bye